Item number, SCP-647. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-647 is contained in a standard 3 meter by 3 meter biological holding cell. SCP-647 is to be monitored continuously via video feed. Once per week, a dead, less than two days, or fully thawed and cryogenically preserved, human body or animal bodies of at least 45 kilograms is to be placed into SCP-647. Following the completion of SCP-647's digestive cycle, the enclosure is to be cleaned by D-Class personnel, feeding and cleaning to be supervised by a Level 2 staff member. Any changes in behavior are to be recorded in Document 647 FBL and reported to the HMCL supervisor on duty. Description SCP-647, when observed via video feed, is a cardboard box appropriately sized for a 35cm CRT-type television. When a live human being, hereafter subject, is within 1.5 meters of the object, SCP-647 will change its dimensions such that the subject can fit inside it easily. If multiple subjects are within 1.5 meters, the dimensions will adjust to be most appealing to the subject with the most disheveled appearance. When a subject enters SCP-647, the flaps of the box will close and are unable to be opened. In testing, the flaps resisted a force in excess of 30 kilonewtons. Once the flaps close, SCP-647 will secrete a digestive fluid that is absorbed by the subject's skin and dissolves soft tissues from the inside out. Once the subject is completely dissolved, the liquids are absorbed by SCP-647 and undissolved elements, e.g. bones, clothing, are forcibly expelled. In the wild, the solid waste will be expelled into a source of cover, e.g. a bush, or high grass, or over low fences. The entire digestive process takes approximately 10 minutes. SCP-647 does excrete waste products. The waste is ordinary water mixed with a fluid visually similar to motor oil. Analysis of the oil-like liquid is ongoing. As the time since the last feeding increases, the transformation becomes more elaborate, including a blanket and lining of newspaper after two days, cans of food after three days, and bottles of alcoholic beverages after five days. Its natural habitat is an urban environment. SCP-647 chooses one spot, usually in the corner of an alleyway out of direct view of main streets. After feeding two or three times, SCP-647 will relocate, usually during the night. Locomotion is achieved by means of movement of the flaps. SCP-647 has also been known to actively attack a subject rather than waiting for them to enter on their own. Attacks have been triggered by attempts to damage SCP-647, including sample retrieval, Attempts to remove extra components manifested by SCP-647. Time periods of more than seven days between feedings. In addition, after eight days, SCP-647 will attempt to relocate. If blocked, it will spray a caustic liquid similar to its digestive juices onto all nearby objects, including walls, causing them to dissolve over 15 to 20 minutes depending on composition and mass. SCP-647 is self-repairing. Fibrous tendrils will grow across any tears, taking on the appearance of duct tape after approximately one hour, and appearing as cardboard matching the rest of the surface after 24 hours. When set on fire, SCP-647 will let out a loud human-like shriek and attack any subject in range, while the surface will circumstances of retrieval, a sharp decline in the number of indigent persons with no correlating increase of admissions to homeless shelters and was noted by routine data mining. Agents were dispatched to investigate. After a 10-day search, agents located the source of the decline, SCP-647, as it was feeding in a drainage culvert. Document 647 FBL, excerpts, 19 one dead human body, 
TOD plus 12 hours placed with an SCP-647. Corpse consumed without incident. 19... 60 dead lab rats. Total mass, 50 kilograms. TOD plus 12 to 24 hours placed with an SCP-647. Corpses consumed without incident. 19... 55 kilograms of ground beef placed with an SCP-647. SCP-647 attacked objects within room with caustic fluids. Note. Similar tests with multiples of a single body part, headless rats and headless cadavers produced similar aggressive behavior. It appears that SCP-647 needs to process a complete organism, but does not object to a corpse less than two days old. Dr. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-646, Birthworm, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.